are headed to Boston to visit Thomas. Uh, it's Friday, March 19th. Hello, how is everybody? So it is a sunny, cool morning and we are going to see Thomas. We have a car full of food and we have the doggies. And the husband. Chauffeur. Chauffeur. That's what we're doing. We made him food yesterday. I made him a big ZD and some meatballs. And John made a meatball meatloaf dinner kit. And there's a salad in there and then a bunch of other stuff. Um, and some supplies from Costco. But mostly we're just giving it to him because we want to see him. <laughs> it's an excuse to, to go there. I've been in the house too long. I think it was really hard on me a little bit when Sarah left, so this one helped my heart. And he wanted to see the dogs, so here they are. Whoops, that's my hand. Uh, Henry and Holly are in the back seat like children. Holly's in the sun, that's why she's kids. We've got some coffees from Dunkin' Donuts. So we're good. So we're in Boston. Uh, John just went up with another load up to Thomas's apartment. I have the doggies. And I'm going around the block to park the car because there wasn't any street parking. So I need to go into the garage. And then we're going to have a quick lunch, a little visit, and then head back home. Does anybody else but Thomas? Yeah, I told him. Right, Henry? We talked about it. I said, hey, the guy who was the first one to hold you. Rode all the way home. Yeah, you're in the city. What is that? Oh, Who's that? that? <laughs> Who's here? No, don't stop. Stop. Don't stop. Don't start barking. City dogs don't bark at horns. Okay, guys. City dogs know that it's just part of life. Yes. Yeah. 